Hey Aquarius, how's it going? I hope you're all doing good. Uh, welcome to the mid-monthly June 2020 love reading. Uh, this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to start out with the Four of Wands, which is your future card. This is what is coming up. Uh, I feel when I look at the Seven of Cups, because I like to try to include the rest of the cards here, I feel like there is a disappointment of uh, or delays in regarding to in regarding uh, to plans uh, uniting with someone. Or maybe this person has led you on and with the Seven of Cups, and so this situation may get canceled or delayed. Um, meeting up with someone that you have love for, um, or they have love for you, because there are other people looking in on this video who have rising and moons in Aquarius, or are engaged with an Aquarius in a love relationship, or engaging with an Aquarius. So what I feel begins here um, is trying to get out of being upset or disorganized and implement a new action that will enable you to detach yourself from the problem or free yourself from the obligation. So we're going to look at the Seven of Cups. Because this is the change position. This is what conditions will change. And I feel that this is about experiencing a lot of facilitation in matters of the heart. And that you will be looking for the right approach. approach or even looking for a new mate. Uh, a new mate that resonates. Uh, also too, some of you might have so much on your mind. So much so many other things going on that you love might be the first thing from your mind. <laughs> first thing from your mind or heart. I do feel like that you will be making resolutions or going to have to make resolutions or compromises in order to get things to work in your favor. Um, I'm also sensing that some of you have been focusing on things that have really cluttered your mind and heart and there's no room for another even if you want to uh, move through uh, and find yourself a mate you know for you singles out there or whoever wants change romantically and I feel like there is a choice also between family members and the one you love Somebody, too, might be trying to paint you a picture of something that is delusional, but yet, uh, whether this comes from a loved one or a family m loved member, but I do feel that there is, there's going to be some compromises that will have to be made. Resolutions. And I also feel like a message here about someone who doesn't follow through or doesn't follow through as anticipated or expected but I feel they're going to create a sudden change of plans <clears throat> and this may surprise you it may surprise you because it may be uplifting uh, an uplifting message So here we go into the Page of Cups. This is causes. This is what will change, what will cause changes. Sorry, what will cause changes. Um, there might be some anxiety here and there throughout June um, regarding how things may turn out in the future, like worrying more about the future than where you're at presently. Because you're just in an anxious place right now. But you hope they will turn for the better. Um, I do feel like it's a gradual process. But it can happen. I do feel like other people will give you a purpose or a cause to re-examine what you want in your life. And also feel this opportunity can happen even 
finding new love at your workplace or at a store or online. So, you know, the, the possibilities are there in all directions. I just saw a dove fly by, so that's a good sign. And I feel that you should listen so that there is more understanding because that answer that you've been looking for may seem like an emotional storm from someone that you love. But I do feel like it is something that you need to hear. Or it is something that you need to tell. The moon card is the way things will change. It's the change type. And I, here you have to watch out for disillusions and disappointments in a relationship. Uh, I would say it's probably over something that you were hoping would work out, but it didn't. There may have been plans to entertain this loved one or getting together with them. And you feel like it's, it's all been a lie or it's all just been a story with no truth. Also, too, when I get the moon card and how this is laid out so far, some of you who are going through an emotional storm, who are going through emotional times, even into crisis or have experienced emotional uh, storms or crisis, it indicates where you might want to sleep more because you want to escape or maybe you're not sleeping enough because you're full of anxiety or you eat more. Because you're just looking for emotional comfort. Or you might not be eating enough because you feel depressed. The king of swords in your needs position is what you need to understand or do. And the answer here is dwelling on the past isn't a good thing for you. Dwelling on the past is causing more pain so what is the answer here what do you need to understand what do you need to do you need to release it and you need to let it go there's also something when you get the king of swords is maybe a loved one is in trouble with the law maybe there's a legal situation here or maybe you're married uh or uh in a relationship with a law enforcement professional could be even an attorney, could be anything, but you feel that this person's gone through danger and you're concerned about them. And, um, okay, so I, I feel what you need to do is stay detached because this is the way you'll be able to Perceive the truth in the situation. And later on, that intuitive answer, that impression, that perception will be confirmed when, when you, you re detach yourself from the outcome. You detach yourself from the situation. You've got the Four of Pentacles here. Um, before I read that, I want to say here with the King of Swords, spiritually, don't be afraid to be defenseless or lay your cards on the table. It can make a difference here. Because what's uncomfortable consciously or consciously being expressed is coming from genuine concerns. 
your outcome card now, I will discuss that. This is your future wants and outcomes. You've got the Four of Pentacles here. So the outcome here is you are going to find or establish a new approach or foundation in your love affairs, in your love life. But yet you will remain detached. You will remain guarded or non-committed until you see which way this, this is going. You want to know which way this is going. And like I said, there are obstacles here about getting together. And there's many ways of why you can't, you can't get together right now, Aquarius, with your loved ones. Whether it be your significant other, whether it be your uh, occasional lover, whether it be a friend that you love very much or a family member, either way it goes, there's obstacles that you have to deal with in June in regards to getting together. But I will say that if all of you stay positive and in accord and really want to be together, I do feel like you can overcome these obstacles. I really do. I hope this reading has helped you, Aquarius, in any way. I know it's for the mid-monthly June, but it does take up the month of June. It could have happened already. It could, it could happen. And it may not resonate with all of you. But either way it goes, I send you all so much love and blessings. Take care.